Okay, I wanted to quickly show you how to make sure that your galleries are optimized for SEO in the way that you want them to be optimized so that when Google indexes these, it's indexing them with the proper names and the proper page titles and so forth. First off, let's go to the page. Um, so you're having problems where a lot of these pictures are getting indexed by Google and they are saying actually the name of the file name. What happens is that when you add pictures to any gallery in Wix, by default, the title is typically just the file name. So if you don't want these to show up anywhere in Google's world, um, even though these aren't actually showing up on your actual gallery, you can't see them, they are the, the title shows up to Google as the alt text and it tells Google what that picture is. I'm going back to editor here. I'm going to click here and click on change images. So this page you have is called Madison Avenue. We want to call all these pictures Madison Avenue if, if that's what you want. They can also be other things. So let's just do Madison Avenue architecture or even architect because that's kind of very good for you. Each one of these pictures you should rename with a, a name and you can name it with whatever you want. In fact, it is good to name each one with something unique. So this one could be Madison Art, Mad, Madison Avenue Architect dash kitchen, for example. And then this one could be girls room. It's, um, it, well, it, you only have so, there is only so much, uh, so we'll call this bedroom. Uh, there's only so much you can use in this alt text. It gives you, I think, like 50 letters or so. So it'll, it'll cut you off when you've reached the limit. So, um, but you can name each of these something individual, which um, is good to do. So if you want to go back in and do that, that's fine. I'm just changing these at least all to Madison Avenue Architect so that Google, when it indexes any of these pictures or these pages, it's not saying the client name or the file name, which is not desirable or doesn't look as professional for sure. So then I want to click on done when I'm done with that. So that's the first step. That's to get all your pictures in the gallery itself uh, optimized with proper alt text, which alt text is just simply alternative text that Google reads to know what that picture is. Uh, it's important to kind of tell Google and give it good keywords that are related to what you want um, these pictures to be found for if they're being searched on Google. Secondly, we want to look at your page itself. Um, if you come here uh, to the site menu here and then go and click on this little three dots next to each page title, you want to come in here to SEO because this is actually where this is where you set up what shows up in Google. So you'll see there's a beautiful little example here that shows me what it looks like in Google, which is wonderful. Um, so I can kind of get an idea of what this would look like if somebody was searching for it. So here I go, Madison Avenue Architect, we'll call that because um, that's what it is. But feel free to rename this if you want. This is your description, so you can certainly go more in depth here about whatever it is this project is. So go in more in depth. This is your little teaser copy to get the person to click on it to come and visit the page. And so that's what shows up in Google. The last thing on there is your actual URL, which this by default is whatever you initially named the page. Um, if you do not want it to call it be called Polis, uh, you, you can actually rename this to Madison Avenue, for example. Um, so if I do this though, I definitely want to tell Google where to find that new page. Cause what I'm doing is I've changed the URL. So it's good to tell Google. So I'm going to show you that in the next step. Um, the last thing that's down here and make sure you scroll all the way down on this SEO panel. This is the area that says show this page in search results. You have turned this off. Now I'm checking this back on, but you had turned this off because you were worried that people were seeing client names and the client, the file names and so forth and you didn't want this page to be seen, so you quickly turned this off when you realized that. Well, now that we've fixed all this, let's turn these back on on every page because it's important to get found. If you turn this off, that means Google will not index it. It will not put in the search results. Um, so even though maybe your home page would still be seen if you don't have this checked off, um, the sub page would never show up in the search results, which in some cases that is fine, but for most people, you want all your pages to be seen unless it's a hidden page that you don't want people to see. So check this on. 
Um, coming back to this URL, if you change this URL, it is important to tell Google where to find the new page. So let's close out of this and let's go up here to settings. Um, click on any one of these things. Uh, I uh, Don't click on this bank dashboard though because I've noticed that that opens up a new window which doesn't always save your changes. So click on any one of these. Let's go to just social share. This is going to open up your dashboard within the editor, which is important for saving and publishing. Um, once you're in here, click on SEO, and now you're going to again scroll down and find this Manage 301 redirects. Now, of course, I forgot the name. I think it's Polis, was it? <laughs> um, but what you want to do is put your old link here, and then you want to tell it where to go, what the new page is that you want them to go to. So. Um, and again, I forgot which one we were going to. I think it was Madison Avenue traditional, perhaps. But uh, what I'm doing is I'm going to tell this, this is the old link. Now I'm saying let's go to the new link. So um, we have that. If I need to change it again, I can always come back here and do that. So, um, of course, I can't remember now what... Um, what that link was. So here's another little trick. If you want to see what Google has indexed all the pages on your site, just put in site colon then the name of your website. And then this, what Google will show you is all the pages it has indexed for your website. So let's go look and see where that one was. I think it was Polis. Let's see if it's even indexed. It might not be. Um, Oh, it's right here at the top one. So yeah. So now what I've done is because I set up that 301 redirect, I'm going to hit publish because the 301 redirects don't apply until you hit publish. But now if I click here, this is going to then automatically take me to the one I want. Um, in this case, I don't think this is the one I want um, because this was, let's see which one. This, we want it to go to the Madison Avenue. So let's go back into this site settings. We'll go over here, just click on social share is fine, and then click on SEO. I don't know why they don't have that SEO tab right there in the editor, but you can get to it by any of those. We'll come back down here, scroll down, and let's get rid of this one because that's not the one we want to go to. But we do want to go to Madison Avenue. I think it's just Madison Avenue. Yep, this one here. Hit save. Now close this, publish for it to take effect. You have to publish, then come back here and let's click on this polis again and make sure it's going to the right one. Aha, this is the right one now. So see what I'm what I'm doing basically is telling Google where to find this new thing. This is also if anybody like any other of your clients have anything bookmarked. If you change the names of these URLs, um, just make sure to tell Google where to find it. And again, that is located under here, under site, come here, I'm oh, sorry, under settings, click on any one of these is fine. I usually click on social share, then click here on SEO, scroll down and here are your 301 redirects. Um, so I was going to go through and I can set up these for all your different pages that we're renaming, but I wanted to show you this is how it's done. If you ever change the name of any of your page URLs, make sure to tell Google where to find the new one. Otherwise, it loses track and it counts against you because it, it when it goes to that old link, it's getting a broken page. Um, so what I want to do is go through each of these and do the same thing. I've already done this with these, so I've already renamed all these. I've also renamed your SEO here. So again, come here to SEO and then scroll down and you can see now it's called Beach House instead of what it was before, which was a client name. I also renamed the title here. So you can go through one by one and update all of these. I've done all of them down to Park Avenue Classic um, or actually Madison Avenue. But all the rest of these still have the old name. So this one's like wall apartment and it's prototype. So we'll want to call this one Madison Avenue Traditional. And then rename this up here Madison Avenue Traditional and add a little bit better of a description here if desired. Um, and then publish. And then make sure you also come in, go into social share, go to your SEO, scroll down here and set up a redirect. So if you change that name, the wall apartment, tell it where to go to where the new page is. Um, that's important. I mean, you don't have to do it. It just 
it'll be a broken link on your site and Google will have to find it itself. Um, so always do this for SEO. It'll really help um, if you're changing names of, of, of uh, pages. So again, just kind of go into each one of these, click on this, these three dots, come in here to SEO. You can rename your page title, your description, and the URL that it goes to. And then also make sure to come here to click on change images and then rename each of these with a more general name that doesn't reference a client's name. Um, and just go through each one, rename them, and hit done when you're done, and then make sure you hit publish. Uh, I can help you with getting this all up to speed, but I wanted to show you how it works. Um, so if you have time today to go through and rename them, uh, you might be able to give them better names than me because you're much more familiar with these product projects. Um, but that is basically how you manage your gallery images and also how you manage the pages itself so that you can control what Google is showing um, in Google's world because you definitely want to uh, you know, tell Google, you want Google to index things the way you want them to be indexed. And right now it's indexing a lot of things with your file names, which is definitely not ideal. You can see all these things. Once you have updated this, Google will slowly re-index and do all these again for you. Um, but once you're done, actually, there's another way to speed up that process. And there's a couple ways. One, you could post on social media links to all your new pages so that Google catches wind of them there. You can go into your Google business account and post links to them too. But you can also go to the Google search console, um, which I will help you with this because I have this all set up for your um, site. But then you can come in here, go to your sitemaps and resubmit the sitemap. Um, that will also help speed along the re-indexing of all those new pages. Um, so I can help you get this done when you're done. But if you haven't done use Google Search Console or if you're adding a new website or whatever, go to Google Search Console. I cannot say that. Um, just search Google that and it'll take you to this Google Search Console area and it will we'll even walk you through setting it up um, if need be. But yours is already set up. This is actually under my other client's account, so we're not going to do that here. Um, but we can resubmit the sitemap to give Google the heads up that, hey, we've changed pages, we've added stuff, we've renamed stuff, so re-index that sitemap um, and it will do that. So let me know once you're done modifying all these and I can certainly help you do that as well. Um, but uh, yeah, that's it. So uh, there's your little Wix tutorial on changing images, changing page titles, and making sure that Google if you have gallery pages, Google's indexing it the way you want it to index. Happy Wixing!